am Jupiter, and I'm the strongest planet. JoJo Science Show! Hello, welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today, we're going to learn about gravity and how much you would weigh on other planets. Do you know what gravity is? <laughs> Gravity is the force that pulls us to large objects, like Earth. Or if we were on Mars, it'd be the force that pulls us to Mars. <laughs> Long ago, a scientist named Isaac Newton saw an apple fall. Ow! It might have even landed on his head. Don't worry, this is just a foam apple, so it didn't really hurt. Hello, I'm Mr. Apple. A real apple would hurt. A real apple is about 100 grams. And he started to think about gravity. He thought, there must be a force pulling the apple to the ground. I know, it's gravity. Newton figured out that generally, bigger planets have stronger gravity. This means if you are on a planet bigger than Earth, you would weigh more. If you are on a planet smaller than Earth, you would weigh less. If you want to lose weight, just go to a smaller planet than Earth. He also discovered that gravity becomes weaker the further you are from the center of the planet. Today, we're going to figure out how much I would weigh on different planets and the moon. On Earth, I weigh 55 pounds. I would weigh one-sixth of that on the moon. Or, I would weigh nine pounds. That's because the moon is much smaller than Earth. On the sun, I would be 1,488 pounds. Wow, that's a lot. On the sun, an apple would weigh 9 pounds. It'd be like a bowling ball falling on your head. That would really hurt if it fell on your head. But here's an easy way to remember the orders of the planets. My very excellent mother just served us nachos. Yay, Yay nachos. nachos! My for Mercury, very for Venus, excellent for Earth, mother for, for Mars, just for Jupiter, served for Saturn, us for Uranus, and nachos for, for Neptune. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. It used to be my very excellent mother just served us nice pizza because back in the day they called Pluto a planet, but now Pluto is categorized as a dwarf planet. In the Los Angeles Observatory in California, there was a display of planets, and they had scales to tell you what you would weigh on each planet. Here's a picture from each scale in the observatory. On Mercury, I would weigh about 20 pounds. On Venus, I would weigh about 50 pounds. People call Venus Earth's evil twin. That's why I would weigh about as much as I would weigh on Earth. On Earth, you would weigh as much as you weigh. <laughs> <laughs> on Mars, I would weigh about 20 pounds. That's the same as I would weigh on Mercury. I could probably jump really high on Mars. On Jupiter, I would weigh about 140 pounds. That's about two and a half times as much as I would weigh on Earth. Oh wait, here's Jupiter with a message. I'm Jupiter, and I'm the strongest planet. Look at my muscles, and I have the strongest gravity of all the planets in the whole solar system. I'm bigger than all the other planets combined! Ah! On Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, I'd weigh pretty close to what I weigh on Earth. I would weigh about 58 pounds on Saturn, 48 pounds on Uranus, and 62 pounds on Neptune. On Pluto, I would weigh about 4 pounds. Gravity is determined by the amount of matter that makes up the planet and the distance from the center. Of all the planets, you would be heaviest on Jupiter because it's the biggest planet. On a neutron star, I would weigh about 8 trillion pounds. <laughs> Today, you learned about gravity. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can see all my fun videos and hit the bell so your computer will tell you whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, science is fun! Hello, welcome to Jojo Science Show and Apple Science Show. Ow! <laughs> Wait, that was just a foam apple. This is a real apple. Uh, uh. Mm -mm. 
Mars. Whoa, apple. There aren't any apple trees. 